You can't help being a bit startled when you come across this picture. There's something unusual about it. I would almost say strange. I think it has a certain kind of mystery that comes partly from the vanishing of the snow and the perspective effect of the trees. While at the same time, his way of painting, his brushwork has something, let's say, gently sensitive about it. The great thing about the picture is that within a narrow scale of colours, it reaches out into so many details that you can't help feeling lured into the picture. That is, you can almost imagine the basses and double basses going. I get inspired, who doesn't, by a landscape and by art. So that means it sinks in as a memory, I think, in the mind. Which you can later allow to come back in the form of music. That's how it works. That's the reason I've chosen this picture, and I'm particularly fond of it. Probably his quietness, his reticence. You could almost say his silence. It seems unique and intriguing to me. And then it's combined with a unique stubbornness, I would think, and endurance. Not to mention courage. <laughs>